Okay, so now we have the, the front grill. So I need to start getting the grill together and get the radiator all together as well so I can work on the electrics because I want to have my headlights hooked up. Or at least see if they're working. I don't even know if they work. The wires are pretty much a mess. So I'll set up the camera and I'm going to start tearing this apart and we'll take a closer look at it. Well, I had to set up a little makeshift workbench here in the garage. Do it there. So here's the grill. It just held in by these two little clips and the clips down here on the bottom. So of course, that's always the best thing to see right there. Look at that. Then down here is actually the original Rover Diesel little emblem. I have to put maybe put a new bracket on that and put a little bolt in there to hold that in there. So you can see here, I got a whole mess of wires. Not really too sure what most of them are for. There's old horn in here. I know this ring, it comes right off. Looks like we have some mounting screws here. This thing's gonna need a flathead. pretty crusty in there. So we got two headlight rings. Oh, I don't know if you can see that already. Let me get these headlight buckets off and I'll be back. I have the radiator all taken apart. I had to cut the bolts off for the headlights. Took the hood latch off. I'll be cleaning this up. And also random wires around. It was up underneath here. And this actually had two horns on it. This is one of them. The other one is in another box. I thought that was pretty neat. Made in France. Uh, M-I-X-O is the brand. But we'll give it a test, but I have a feeling this one's not going to be working. So we'll take a closer look at the radiator. Okay, so looking at the radiator, uh, I don't know what you call this, the radiator holder, but here's the headlight ring here. It's not too bad up around here, but you can see here is kind of rusted away. So I'm going to make a patch panel for here to fill in so have we can bolt the headlight bucket back on. And I'll flip it around. This side, it actually had the bottom bolt here, but it's still missing some pieces around here. So I'm just going to cut this all out. And uh, the top part seems to still be okay. So I'm going to give this a good wire wheel in and... Uh, We'll make some patch panels for that. I'll show you that. I have the two headlight buckets taken apart. Some of the screws came out that are go around the chrome ring that are here. Some of those came out, but one I had to cut off. But these are looking pretty shabby. I'm going to see if I could find a set of used pair. Or if the worst comes to worst, maybe I'll try fixing these, but they're pretty shot. But I'm going to see how much that costs for those. So for headlights, I'm just about to test them out to see if they work. Low beams work and high beams. Yep. Let's try out this one. High beam, low beam. Boy, that's pretty dim, aren't they? So the headlights, this part, this lower one on the bottom is the ground, and this is the high beam and the low beam, depending upon which side it is, but that's always the ground down there. 
I thought this was pretty cool too. These are the original headlight clips. They say made in England. So I'm sure they're probably Lucas ones, but I thought that was pretty neat too. So, so we got two good headlights. Maybe gonna probably have to get two new headlight buckets. Like I showed, I need to fix the bottom of the light bucket down here. So I got a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna slide down underneath here. Then I'm gonna draw a circle around inside here to get my shape that I know that I need for the patch panel. I'll at least get my uh, general shape that I need. There it is there. I'm gonna cut this out and let me flip it over. So I'm gonna take a wire wheel and clean this all up a little bit and see what falls off. Then I'm probably gonna make it come down, have a curve in it, same as this, come down and then probably cut this out here, square of some sort, kind of like this is what I'm thinking. So let's see. What I always like to do is take a Sharpie when I'm gonna make a decision on what I'm going to cut. And then I'll draw a line Kind of to get a, an idea, so whenever I go to cut this, I'm not just cutting every any which way, so I have a little bit of an idea. From as I could tell, whenever I'm feeling the metal here, this is feeling pretty thick out here, but this is, of course, this is thin right here, but as you go in, you can kind of feel with your thumb that you could bend this down and you feel it getting thicker. Like it feels thick out here, like it's not moving around. So I'm thinking this might be a good cut line to make a patch to go around there because this is still pretty thick right here too. All right, so I'm going to cut this out here. And Here's the piece I cut out that was right here. And I can already tell that this is some pretty thick metal now that I'm cut into whenever I was cutting down through it. So I'm going to flip this over and trace it again on a piece of paper. I think it might be better if I just trace it whenever it's all done. So here's the shape uh, traced out of the, the cutout and around the headlight bucket. And here's the other piece where we just cut out to get the circle. So if I take and I lay this on top, I'll show you. If I line that up with the circle, just like you're in, just in school again, drawing uh, arts and crafts. So now, whenever I show you, now you can kind of see this is the piece I need to cut out with a piece of metal. So that'll get, I'll, tra I'll cut this out and I'll trace it. I'll leave a little bit on. I'll make them a little bit bigger, the patch panel. So then it'll, uh, I can carve it down and make it to a nice shape going around. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cut this out a piece of metal. So I was measuring the piece of metal and it seemed to be 16 gauge. Oh, I found all around here. It kind of got thinner in some places, but so I just cut it out of 13 gauge, not 13, 16 gauge, this little canoe that I'm gonna be welded into here. <laughs> so I got it to fit up in here and then uh, we'll go ahead and weld that in. So I got the, the canoe welded in. Then as I was working up here, where the other mount hole was, I tried to do a little patchwork on a couple of little holes. I just ended up cutting the whole piece out here where they mount. So you can see I made it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to trace around and make a circle around and then, then and, um, what am I trying to say? Clean it all up and make it into a circle again. So um, this side's done. 
Then over here, exact same thing. With these holes, you see how it's all bumpy right here? It's not bad, it's just bumpy, like rusty. It's kind of deformed the metal. Over here, it's fine. But whenever it was over here, there was holes all up through here going around and holes up all around here. So that's why I ended up cutting this side and welded in little panels here. So over here, same thing, canoe. I cut down through here, got a solid metal. And then this one, you can't go over any further because there's a this metal here that's folded over and welded in place. So I took this cut and I went right along the edge of it and they come down like this. So these are all done here. That's all done. And the bottom piece here, it's kind of beat up, but I think it'll be okay and hold all the weight just fine. And so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up these welds and I'll carve out this circle. And I also took off, like I said, the handle here. The top of it, it's not bad at all going along. And I took the, the cloth seal that was on top of it. You can kind of see the original color is right here. Original color. There, and you come down here. Down here, the tabs where it rests onto the chassis. Right there and there, there's the original color as well. They rest right here and here. So, this is just about done. I ordered some headlight buckets because I'm, those other headlight buckets were a mess. So we'll see whenever those come in, along with a couple other lights and stuff like that. So I'm going to clean this up and let's see what we can fix next. I almost forgot to show you the, the finished product. So here it is, all ground down, smooth as it's going to be for, for my truck. And I carved out a circle. Come over here do with it here we go use the piece of cardboard that was traced out to a circle and just traced it on there and with a sharpie went over here did the same thing lined it up drew around a circle with a sharpie and i just carved it out and now we got a circular circle now so that's done both sides let me go get a the old bucket let me see if it fits in there okay here's one of the old headlight buckets and yeah, let's see here. Got to line up the adjusters. The adjusters that are on it go into these holes at the top. Okay, and there we go. Fits in there. You got to have a lot of play in there so they have space to move around. Let's go over to this side. Hey, there we are. Headlight buckets are now fixed. There we go. Cool. One less thing I have to do on this. So, but before taking it to primer and getting it painted and everything, I bought some new buckets. They came in the mail. So, I guess the replacement ones now, you could either get a metal or plastic. These are the plastic version. I didn't really hear any negative reviews on them or anything, so I got I ordered plastic ones. I got a pair of them, and it has multiple holes on it for mounting. And um, so I test fit one of them, and here's where I fixed it. These two holes were already good, and I just re-drilled this hole here for the screw. And the nice thing it came with it was it came with these little washer things, they're like nut washer type things, and, and it came with screws. There's a, there they are. Which I also came with screws, which I think are stainless steel ones, I think they might actually be. So, and then this is the headlight ring, the, the chrome ring, it goes around the edge. At least I think that's what this is, this is for, it came in the kit. So. I got one test fitted in there with the seal in there. It came with a seal also. And then you have your ring. This actually holds the headlight in. It's got these little clips. You must go around it. So then you got your two adjusters. It mounts to the two adjusters and the one screw right here that holds all this in place. So the plastic, that once it's bolted in, it seems pretty sturdy. So I, I don't see any problems of it work not working. 
So this side, I put the bucket in and then I matched here and marked it and I drilled it out. So now this headlight ring, let's see here, adjust this go like that. So now, now we got this one can be mounted in there too. So the grill's done. It's pretty much done, I think. Besides this, uh, got the buckets for it. So now that's drilled. So then I can prime it and paint it now. And I'm going to be putting in a headlight relay kit that you can find off of eBay. But that'll be in the wiring kit. Um, that'll be in the wiring uh, series whenever I start doing the front end. And I'll probably do the turning signals and the headlights all together on that video. So keep an eye out for that one in the future. So this is, uh, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So I'm going to prime it and I'm going to paint it the almond color to match the bulkhead, even though the fenders will still be original patina, I'm going to paint this to be all the almond color. So this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing, commenting, and your positive words. They're awesome. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome, and have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.